Well, this first clip is for the benefit of the landowner. This is a little creature that I saw just after I arrived on property. It appears to be a little mink just going about its business on the dam bank. Notice how small this animal is and how small its head is as it returns to the water and takes off swimming. And carpet caster. Its head is significantly smaller than that of a beaver, which is probably at least twice as wide, if not wider. And tonight I'm going to be shooting beaver with my TX-15 multi-purpose carbine enhanced from Lone Star Armory, shooting Druid Hill Armory's Remington Corlock 120 green bullets, loaded in the Starline brass, and I'm getting all my video through an IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight. Alright, just watching this beaver come in. One shot, we've got the curly shuffle, and he is done. Now this is the drain for the little lake that's right here, and the beavers have been damming it up, and that's a beaver that has just finished visiting the drain as I speed up the video here. This is going to be the closest beaver that I shoot this evening. And we've got a body right there. And that beaver is done. And here it looks like beaver number three is coming in pretty fast. Of course the video has been sped up right here. Going back to real time. I thought that looked and sounded like a good shot. But the beaver swims out from it. I definitely hit him the second time. And that's his body right there. And from the earlier beaver, that's its body right there. Moving on to beaver number four. Also sped up video as I watch him come in. Hold on a second, I'm gonna make a noise. Don't be surprised. Brass catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. Sorry, you, I'm, I'm actually sitting on a guy's dam right now, beaver hunting. Well, Sam had to go and it had been a while since I'd seen any beaver. I spied this one on the bank did not get up and ready fast enough before it slipped into the water right here. I tried a shot here that apparently did not connect with the beaver. So I'm seeing it move through the reeds. Now I'm looking to see where it might pop out. And this appears to be the same beaver coming out the top side of the reed area. And to my surprise, he's coming towards me. And I'm waiting for a body right here. Not seeing where he's taken off anywhere. There we go. Got some fluttering going on. And that's going to be beaver number five and the last beaver of the night.